The American founders did not consider themselves as a radical break with the past. They considered themselves as standing on the shoulders of giants, starting in Jerusalem with the revelation of one God, monotheism as opposed to polytheism, of a creator of a world which is thoroughly good. The world is not divided between an evil demiurge and a good demiurge. It has its integrity, it is good. Evil didn't enter the world through God, but through man's disordered will. From Athens next, we have the invaluable contribution of the integrity of reason and reason's ability to apprehend reality because behind reality is logos, is reason. Reality is a manifestation of a creative reason which our minds can apprehend. The Romans learned from the Greeks uh, about the nature of law and the fact that one could through one's reason know the difference between good and evil and that all people's souls were directed toward the same good. Such a notion of that is essential for a foundation in the rule of law uh, that, that uh, men are ruled by laws and not by men. Why not? Because men can rule arbitrarily according to their whim and according to their self-interest. All of these notions were critical for the development of the idea of limited government. The United States, in its founding, in its constitution, and in its declaration of independence, is unintelligible without recognizing the contributions that came from Jerusalem, Athens, and Rome.